my name is Edson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about the new feature of .NET New Community Edition uh, which is the, the workflow feature. So recently .NET Nook has incorporated a basic workflow feature uh, to the Community Edition and so let's have a quick look at uh, how that uh, workflow feature works. So let's log in here as uh, admin or host level so let's let's go with host and I also have another uh, instance of this website loaded in Internet Explorer but I'm not logged in so I can show you the back end and the front end at the same time now I'm gonna add a new page so we can uh, sh I, I can show in more details uh, the workflow so let's call this uh, articles page and let's just click update this is visible to all users let's click update so we have articles page and by default it brings a, a, a text module now let's have a look at the settings of this uh, text HTML module that we have added here. Let's go to the action menu, go to settings, and if we scroll down, we can see that there are two workflows available uh, to this module. One is direct publishing, which means that every time that you that you change the contents of that module and you click save the content will be pub published automatically it will be available right away to the end user to the user that is uh, just browsing the website but it also has a second option that is called a uh, content sh staging and by what content staging means is that you can save changes uh, and you can choose if you want to publish them right away or not uh, now again by default everything is set to direct publishing so if you make changes it will reflect right away but in this case let's uh, well let's use first direct publishing let's click update uh, and let's add some test content to this module so if I go to uh, edit content and I can make some changes here I will just paste, uh, paste uh, a test paragraph here see I can only save it directly there's no uh, there's no uh, option to to save but not publish so if I save what will happen is that and if I go to the front end as a regular user I can see articles page and the content will be published right away so it's right away available I'm not logged in I'm just a regular user and the content is published right away but if we go back actually before that let's add another paragraph just so you see that uh, things will get published right away let's edit content and let's just add one more paragraph let's click save again it will be published right away if we go to the articles page refresh this see the the second paragraph is published right away now if we go back there in the action menu go to settings and select a different workflow let's say content staging and click update here's what it says now it goes to draft and published and let's click update now let's add a third paragraph let's go to edit content and scroll down let's add another paragraph now as you can see we have uh, a new option that says publish and we can check or leave it uh, unchecked if we check this content will be published published right away if we keep it unchecked this content will be saved but not published yet so let's click just let's keep it unchecked and let's click save so a third paragraph was added and I can see the third paragraph here as host level as admin level but if we look at the front end as a regular user and if, if I refresh this page see the third paragraph is not available yet because it was not published yet now if I go back I have the option here to publish 
Uh, so what will happen is that the chains that were made will now be published. But so why would you like? Uh, we would like to to add content, but not publish yet. Very simple. We may want to show this to somebody else for approval. Uh, that's that that can be a reason. But so at this point, we have three paragraphs. It's showing only two. If I hit publish, the third paragraph will also be available in the front end. Uh, the the publish option is gone because everything is published now. If I go to the front end, if I click refresh, the third paragraph comes up now. So this is the basic workflow feature that was recently added uh, to a .NET Look. And in a future video, I'll cover uh, how .NET Look Professional Edition uh, does a much better job in terms of workflow. Uh, the workflow feature in uh, .NET Look Professional Edition, it allows you to create multiple workflows, multiple uh, steps, multiple people and roles that can approve uh, uh, a change done to that to that content. So here, this is basically it. This is all that you can do in regards to the uh, workflow feature in the community edition of .NET Nook. Thank you very much. Bye for now.